Hello, I am Kate Smart, a freshman in poultry science. I chose Natalie Henry's mural called Local Industry. She was born in Malvern, Arkansas in 1907 and died in 1992. Most of her artworks were watercolor paintings. The mural is located in the Shiloh Museum in Springdale. The mural was transferred to the museum in 1995. It was originally painted in 1940 in the Springdale Post Office under the New Deal Act that gave jobs to artists. It was painted onto a canvas that was already glued to the wall, so to move it they had to remove the whole wall. The plaster was cleaned off and it was glued onto a new canvas. The artistic features used in the mural are lines and bright colors. She uses the rows of grapevines to foreshorten the mural and give it depth. The rows of strawberries in the bottom left add to the width of the painting, drawing the viewer's eye from left to right, where the people are. The focal point of the painting is the bright blue bucket and the man drinking out of it. The foreground is very vertical, with the five people standing straight up, the trees, and the rows of grapevines. There are very few irregular shapes, those being the chickens and the squatting people. The farther back the viewer looks, the less interaction with the viewer there is. The blue objects have the highest intensity of color, so the eye is drawn into the foreground. Many aspects in the mural are directly related to Arkansas Industries as well as her life. The left half of the mural has some chickens and grapevines in the background. The significance of the chickens is that poultry was becoming a very large industry in the 30s. The chicken shown here is a white leghorn, which is still used today. Poultry started growing when she was living in Arkansas, so it also references her life. The man holding the chicken is her father, who kept chickens when she was younger. The grapevines are significant because Welch's Juice Company was another large industry in the 30s. The right half of the painting has more grapevines, strawberries, an apple orchard, and a farmhouse. The strawberries and apple orchard are significant because these are two other products of industries in Arkansas. The abundant apple orchards are one reason that trains came to northwest Arkansas in the early 1900s. Natalie Henry wanted to make the agriculture industry look modern and enjoyable because during the Depression, many people were losing hope. She painted a farmhouse that was large and clean in front of rolling hills to help give a positive view of the industry. The two men discussing the strawberry basket are her brother and her brother-in-law, both of whom were farmers in Malvern, Arkansas. Her mural is regionalism art characterized by the bright colors, strong lines, and hopeful images. Regionalism was a product of the Great Depression and disappeared after World War II. I chose this mural because my mom used to work at the Shiloh Museum, so I wanted to learn more about it. I value it more now because I understand its history and how it is connected to this area. Thank you.